everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, it's the last day of the year for me to fly here at Giga Texas. It's the 29th of December, 2023. And it has been an amazing year with a lot of progress and a lot of changes here. And I'll be doing a year in review video coming up on the 1st of January. So you'll get a chance to see just how much this entire site has changed. Now, there's a few things that I'm looking forward to to 2024. It's the ramping of the cyber trucks. It's the ramping of the 4680s and the completion of the expansion. It's getting the Giga Presses up and running, fully operational and supporting that ramp. It's also a lot of other things like the multi-level parking garage and what's going on up at the cathode plant. But the biggest thing that I'm interested in right now is the new development with the boring company and seeing some of its items and equipment that is arriving here at Giga Texas. As you'll see by these images, I noticed that there were these concrete or actually cement silos that were delivered over by the west side end of line facility just a couple of days ago. And I was able to get some close in views and confirm that these are the same tanks that I saw in November over at the Boring Company now they are definitely here at Giga Texas. In addition to that, we also see the concrete sections that line the tunnel. So this is a great indication that we may actually see operations here uh, for the Boring Company, maybe making tunnels underneath the road so that the new vehicles can go from the factory over to that West Supports facility directly underneath the road. And I'll be watching this and we'll be covering more of it during the coming year and i'm kind of curious to see what this is going to look like so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments as well but let's go ahead and get into the drone let's fly around the site let's take a look at how giga texas looked on this last day of 2023 and just we'll get a good idea of how it looks now so that we have something to compare against next year and see all the progress as well as always, thank you very much for your support. I very much appreciate it. I hope you all have a very happy new year. And as always, take care and thank you again for all of your outstanding support. Thank you to my Patreon members and ex-subscribers. Members and subscribers gain access to hundreds of high-resolution images, previews of future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. On this beautiful last day here at Giga Texas for 2023, we're going to start off on the southeast side near where that multi-level parking garage is being constructed. You can also see the work with the footings and preparation to extend the building in the middle section. And on this east side, we also see the gravel, some of the steel corrugated pipe, the work on the left-hand side to prepare that uh, area for a road that will go from the left to the right on the uh, screen as you see it here. Plus we see more of the concrete parts, the double T's, and some of the rebar mesh that will be used to pour the concrete on top of the double T's on each of the floors and the roofs to finish up that uh, structure on that multi-level parking garage. But this is a really good view of this entire side, the construction area, uh, and all of the materials, and just how this looks here today on the 29th of December, 2023. So I'll zoom in and give you a little closer view of those materials at the bottom of the screen. And you can also see some columns or beams uh, being uh, readied for installation. 
And as I mentioned, the work with the footings in the middle section continues. Here's a good view uh, closer in of that formwork that is being done in that middle section. And uh, this close in view gives you a great uh, understanding or vis visibility of how this garage is continuing to uh, transform in that middle section with all of those look like windows. So those are the ramps so that uh, the vehicles can go from one floor to the other. And on the left hand side, we can see that more of the uh, columns, beams and double T's have installed. So that is continuing to expand the building off to the east. And I'll go ahead and fly around this section and give you just a good uh, kind of a 360 degree view of the multi-level parking garage and its state of construction here at the last uh, uh, workday of 2023. So as we continue to fly further to the south and get a good view of the state of affairs on the east side of the building, all of the materials and those red dumpsters, those are for recycling of the stamping uh, machine parts that uh, the scraps that uh, are done when they stamp the parts out. And then as we fly up over the power lines, taking a look at the steel structure, see that roof decking has mostly been completed on that first section. The second section is uh, continuing to get steel. In fact, right now we see another column being installed as they continue to extend this steel structure towards the west. And you'll note that they're kind of building in the middle of this south end first and uh, they will probably continue to do that uh, and then connect it over to the perimeter gray beam first and i'm thinking that the last thing that we will see is the building being extended towards the uh, original building on the left hand side you can also see that the column bases are different near the existing building than they are over here where you see the concrete uh, uh, extensions where those uh, columns are installed as we continue to fly along this side, just give you a good view in here of one of the many of the materials, also these crates with more of that uh, glass panes that are very similar to the ones that are already installed. And you can get a good sense with these mounting tabs on the second floor of how those uh, panes will be installed and resting on this perimeter grade beam. And I think I expect to see that all along this entire south end. But this is a good view of how this Steel structure is continuing to expand. More steel has been delivered on the bottom of the screen just outside of the perimeter grade beam. And again, the work is going on here to uh, prepare the forms for rebar and also the concrete for this perimeter grade beam. Working along this angled corner section right now, here's a good view of the workers and kind of give you a scale of the size of this perimeter grade beam and the column bases off to the right as well. And we'll continue to see how those column bases are ex uh, constructed in the concrete and if they continue to leave the ones closer to the building low or if they're gonna raise those as well. As we approach this uh, temporary staging location for all of the cyber trucks, the lighting is uh, uh, really great for this view right now and you can get a good sense of the number of uh, cyber trucks here. Now, some of these I saw moving into the factory. Some of them were coming out of the factory. I think they may be installing some of the parts that uh, were temporarily missing and uh, preparing these vehicles for shipping probably after the new year. But uh, this is a good close in view. As I look down, you can uh, see that some of the Kind of the tops of the truck bed, those plastic pieces are missing on a few of these trucks, but they all appear to have that uh, Moroni sticker that uh, is sitting on the dashboard, and that is for the sale of these vehicles uh, for customers. So anyway, a good number of cyber trucks still here on this side of the site. And as I pull back and come up over the uh, 
uh, wall of the main factory. This gives you a good view of all of the cyber trucks and then a looking across the highway to where that uh, warehouse on wheels and the West support facility is uh, under construction. And then the other thing that I want to talk about here, we mentioned it in the video intro, but uh, as we get closer to this section here, you can tell that there are some of the boring tunnel segments on the left next to these two containers. And then those are those three cement silos. And by having this view and with the higher quality drone camera, we can get a good sense of what some of this equipment is. And this, uh, the labels on those uh, containers are uh, great to see what those are. And then of course the labels that are on the silos themselves confirm that these are the same three silos that were laying on the ground over at the Boring Company in late November, and they've been moved over here. So we're continuing to see more and more of the parts that would be supporting a construction of a tunnel here uh, in the near future. On the south end of the end of line building, we can see more of the trenching. This is for uh, a lot of the conduit and also the bases for the columns that will support the covered supercharger uh, site that uh, hopefully in the another couple of weeks, we will see the supercharger starting to be installed. Here's a good view across the building over towards the outbound lot, and uh, they're finishing up more of the trenching for the lighting. And we should start seeing more paving after the new year as well to extend that section. Of course, on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see where that uh, supercharger will be, uh, that station. We can see the trench work here along the east side of the building and how this is progressing, uh, where that uh, temporary uh, fence is on the uh, left of the screen. That's where conduit are going through those uh, concrete vaults. And then up here at the north end, we can see all the vaults. Most of them have had the covers in place or they have barriers around to make sure people don't fall in them. This is where all of that conduit uh, connects and goes across underneath the highway to the main building. And this is just a good overall view of the end of line facility and this side of the uh, construction site. So I'm gonna get ready to cross back over the highway. This is a good view of the west side of Giga Texas. And uh, after we uh, cross over the highway, there's a few new things I want to show you. Now, many people have asked, what about the solar panels and where are they going to start extending the solar panels to the rest of the roof? You can see here, there's some pallets of solar panels. There's some of the bricks that hold down the Unirac mounts all arrayed up here. So it looks like maybe they're starting to get ready for that phase two of the solar panel installation uh, process here soon. Uh, again, as we talked earlier, there's some more of the roof modifications that need to take place first. Looks like there's a cyber truck in the employee parking lot. So maybe one of the lucky employees that got delivered their first cyber truck. It's a good view of the West Main entrance and how it looks today. Um, over on the left for that landscaping with the uh, trailer and a couple of those uh, Model S's. The end of line, the temporary one here with the two uh, rails or the ramps is empty because there's no production going on today. And as we continue to fly along the uh, west side towards the north, it just gives you a good view of how this entire side of the building looks right now. A lot of the trailers you see are part of that warehouse on wheels concept. They've been moved over here by yard trucks and waiting to unload or be moved when they when they are empty. We can see the work here on that ramp and how it has progressed as well and removing that and we'll be seeing after the first of the year what they do with that uh, section. I'm going to pop up over the roof and uh, give you a good view of some of the ducting and the cooler uh, enclosures here on top of the 4680 battery cell production. Uh, section of the building. As we continue to cross over, we can see all of these ducted fans and the ventilation uh, uh, ducts and the enclosures that are used as part of that ventilation system that they're installing for the casting machine structure, which is directly below. And of course, that uh, pipe sticking up in the middle was for that flue for that new aluminum melting furnace that has uh, been installed and is nearing completion. As we get over towards the north end of the building, I will 
bring the drone down. I want to show you a close-in view of just the status of where the 4680 battery cell production portion of the factory is being expanded and what this looks like today. There's been a delivery of a crate on the left-hand side. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but uh, it could be part of Tesla automation, which is some of the items that we've been seeing recently. And where the panels have been removed and the windows, we can see that that second floor mezzanine, it looks like it may have actually had the concrete poured now. And with the lighting, you can get a good view inside some of these areas just to get an idea of uh, how that is continuing to transform. And that work is being done on all four floors here on this part of the building. The covered cyber truck remains here on the north side of the paint shop. Not exactly sure why, uh, but it doesn't seem like it's uh, a priority to move. So it's uh, been here for the last uh, couple of weeks. One of the things I did notice that I want to show you on this part of the site is today the crews are busy pouring this new section of the walkway that they've been working on for the last couple of weeks. You can see it going through the crepe myrtles on the top of the screen. And now they are finishing this section that uh, will allow pedestrians to cross over the road and get to that parking lot. On the east side of the casting machine structure, we get a good chance to see some of the uh, materials. Also a lot of the castings that have been made. There's also some on the northeast side of the corner as well. And uh, many of these are cyber trucks and some of them are also for the Model Ys. And you can see the other ones on the right hand side, that's where the uh, cyber truck castings are also being put. We can see that some of the materials for that furnace, especially that collector for that uh, flue still is on the ground. So it has not yet been installed. And as we continue to fly along this side with the zoom in, it gives you a good look again at those castings and how those are continuing to transform and uh, shape up, getting ready for production to resume. And then here we see more work on that electrical conduit right at the perimeter grade beam of the building. And this is uh, being added to, but also this is where the uh, conduit and the electrical wires go up to the electrical switch yard. The work here on these receiving docks, the concrete apron and uh, some of the other improvements continues and uh, the middle section with the trailers looks like those are operational and of course there's this other section near that uh, secondary entrance that uh, is being prepared for more of the concrete as well now interestingly enough it looks like the windows of the ba base of that uh, glass entryway have been removed as well including the door so uh, that'll be something I will check on on my next video. The temporary or the testing and calibration lot looks uh, pretty empty today. Most of the Model Ys that were here have been moved over towards the outbound lot for preparation for shipping next year. And uh, I'll continue to maneuver the drone over closer and we'll get a good look at how that outbound lot looks today. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that large grouping of Model Ys that continue to be moved from the testing and calibration lot. And we only see four cyber trucks. They've now been put on this side of the outbound lot near to those uh, office containers. And I don't know, maybe this will indicate that after the first of the year, the cyber trucks will be uh, stationed here waiting for transport. So something interesting to look for. So let's fly up over the uh, north part of the east parking lot, get ready to cross over Tesla Road, and we'll take a look at some of the activity up on this north side. All of these trailers, again, are part of the Tesla temporary offices. Some are for new employee orientation. Some of them are the security offices, and it uh, looks like those are gonna be here for a little longer. Uh, at some point, I would expect to see those moved into the main factory. On the temporary switchyard, no real changes as it's really just de-energized and waiting for whatever they will be doing with it in the near future. The south end looks like uh, more of the conduit and some of the electrical wires in those spools are arrayed there. Maybe that's related to what we saw on the east side of the cast machine structure with all of the conduit work that was underway. As we cross up over the power lines is a good view of the Megapack site. Also, this staging yard at the bottom of the screen where the contractor trailers and a lot of the materials used to be stored 
And again, it looks like it's mostly being cleaned up right now in preparation for the end of construction of the Megapack site. And here's a good view looking across the Megapack site over towards the dye shop and the battery cathode plant as well. I'll bring the drone down a little bit lower. You can get a good idea of how this uh, installation looks right now. Again, most of the work on the right-hand side with all the Megapacks looks to be done. Almost all the work here on the electrical system looks to be uh, completed with the exception of that one insulator that is still missing, waiting for that to be installed before they can uh, connect electrical power. As we fly up over the electrical switchyard, I'll be facing to the north as we fly over this part of the uh, site, I'll give you a good view looking to the north across uh, these poles and also the Martin Marietta temporary batch plant here that has uh, produced almost all of the concrete used for the construction of Giga Texas. So this uh, temporary site has been very well used. And then just to the north of that is this new site that I noticed about six months ago. And this is where a lot of the landscaping materials, some of the pipes, you can see some of the plants in, in the uh, middle of the screen and some of the containers as well. All of this has been moved from the west side of the road over to this side of the road in preparation for uh, more landscaping, probably in the spring uh, after the cold temperatures are over. And I would say that would probably be around March or so. So as we continue to fly here on the north side back towards the main site, just give a good view of an area that I don't normally uh, fly over just to give you an idea of all of this area that could eventually be um, used for construction. Again, this is all part of Tesla property and looking at the main factory, this gives you a good idea of where we are located in relation to the main factory. As I continue to fly towards the northeast, you can see the dye shop and the battery cathode plant on the left but I'm gonna to continue to fly up to the far north and I wanna show you that field with all of the materials that are continuing to being staged here. As I continue to move towards the north, I'll give you a good reveal of all the materials that remain here. All of this is related for production. Some of them are platforms, some of them are equipment, some of them are building materials, but nevertheless, you can see that there is a lot that is stored up here waiting for installation. And we will probably see a lot of this moving into the factory in 2024. I also noticed that they continue to move dirt up to this section near the tree line and store it for purposes I'm not sure what um, into the future. So something else I'll continue to watch in 2024. You can see that uh, dump truck and this road that is well traveled, bringing that dirt up to that location. Um, as we get closer here, this is the rental equipment lot, also maintenance. And this gives you a good view of not only all of the equipment and how this is arranged and how it operates right now, but we can also see that the earthwork trenching and removal of the dirt is now turning around the corner and following the tree line back to the drone and behind the drone. Now, as a reminder, in this area, there's a permit uh, for a new road that will run somewhere through this location connecting the highway that you see in the upper right hand of the screen and the uh, building or the housing community behind the drone. And in addition to that, we're going to be seeing some other work that is uh, underway here. Part of it is where all these islands and trees are located, the removal of these power lines. And uh, once that is done, then they can remove these islands with those trees as well. There's a good view of all of the earthwork, some of the materials being stored, and of course the uh, staging location with those tanks and some of the workshops on the northeast side of the battery cathode plant. And while I'm here on the east, I'll just give you a good overall view 
of this part of the site. Obviously the battery cathode plant on the uh, large building that you see, uh, but here is the outfall channels with these uh, five pipes, or actually four pipes, and uh, where it comes out of that large water management pond and will empty off on this side of the site. As we get closer here, you can see the infall channel on the left still getting some work as they construct it. The cell test lab and that small steel structure. Again, the materials are getting less and less on this side, which is a great sign. We see some more work on the bottom right of the screen for the outfall channel, which is part of the drainage. And then this middle section with all of those white pipes sticking up is part of the filtration system that has been installed. And of course, we see another outfall channel here at the bottom of the screen. The crash test lab looks like uh, they've got that black tarp on the back right now. I don't think there's any activity going on because of the end of the, the work week and the last day of the year. But uh, this cell, uh, this uh, crash test facility has been quite busy uh, over the, uh, the last six months or so here at Giga Texas. This is a good view looking at the south end of the battery cathode plant. And as we continue to fly past the alleyway, we can see the die shop on the left as well. And uh, still waiting for the windows and the doors on the bottom right corner to be installed. So let's uh, fly around the west side and take a look at how the die shop looks today. What I'm trying to show you here is just how much wider this area has become and continues to be widened even further. Also, in addition to the steel pipes being stored on the left, we can see the asphalt, and I think that section is going to continue to work its way over towards the west. So we fly up over the battery cathode plant again, and we're right over that cell test lab. I wanted to give you a good perspective of this north end and uh, how that pond that continues to be filled in and, and is pushed back away from the building on the right, the lift station and how it looks right now with those concrete vaults in the bottom of the screen, and of course that paved section and with that concrete, which is part of the drainage system. And again, I believe that they're going to be paving the rest of the site of towards the west uh, throughout the uh, first quarter of 2024. Now, as we get closer to the uh, chiller plant, I'll give you a zoom in so you get a good uh, sense of how it looks on this last work day of 2023. And uh, hopefully we'll see the rest of the work done here soon and they will have this fully operational and we can start getting some indications of the cathode plant itself becoming operational after the new year. The conduit that connects the chiller plant to the die shop looks nearly completed and uh, most of the uh, concrete covers have been placed and I would expect to see uh, the rest of the concrete through this middle section completed here in the next few weeks as well. And of course those two large uh, uh, boxes or those crates that were delivered are still waiting to be impacted and moved on the inside of the uh, die shop. And here's a good final look at the employee overflow lot. Uh, not a lot of cars today as expected since there's no production and it's the end of the year. But uh, overall, uh, just a good view of this portion of the site and uh, how it all looks here today. So I'm going to pull away and give you a large grand view of almost all of the Giga Texas property. You can see the Colorado River on the left. And this also gives you a good view of all of the sites that we've visited earlier today and throughout the year. As always, thank you very much for your continued support throughout 2023. And I really do appreciate it. Happy New Year and we'll see you next year.